Okay, welcome back to MBR, and this is it in helping others. And a lot of us feel that when we're talking about someone or interacting with them, we really want the best for them, but then we go and carry on them thoughts and feelings and bring them into conversations with others later on in the day, and it becomes gossip. Uh, and through that gossip, we think that we're out to help them and it's, it'll be good for them. The news to say, for example, that we heard of them all, that would be good for them to learn that. And, then, and before you know it, you carry on that message to others during the day. And then the next thing is, there's someone always going to say something. Oh, well that would be for them. They're not that in that way of thinking. How would they do that? But this is just negative thinking, drawing everyone else down. And what happens is that negative feeling goes out towards that person which doesn't help them move forward. You're sending out a negative vibration and because you're bringing all the people that you've been chatting to about this and all the people that knows about it, it all becomes a negative feel. So what you actually do is you change, you're helping change that person's happenings, beliefs from coming through. Because we all work as one. Now they're going to have to have really strong beliefs, but if they're going to sense and feed this off you, and they will do if you are this way of being, going on and carrying on the message and gossiping, but meaning no harm. Uh, all done out of innocence and uh, being happy for them but what you're actually doing is not looking after you which becomes the concern you're more worried and concerned about other happenings which is going on around you and in that case what you're doing is you're bringing someone else's beliefs and stresses onto you and following them and teaching them to others yet you don't know the outcome of that and it's not yours to carry it's not for you to carry with you it does not do you any good turns in life it only holds you back unless it's something that you're working with or working into to help develop your career or your life otherwise it's got nothing to do with you you don't need to be holding on to that you do not need to be talking about it that's for that person who is going to be doing it or is doing it or whatever that you were chatting to it's for them to carry it belongs to them they brought you into it you gave your opinion that was it, done, dusted. You do not carry it on where it becomes gossip and then multiple forces comes in contact with it from multiple perceptions where it's going to be taken down and looked at badly. And from that, when it be taken down and looked at it badly, well, most likely people were correct and no, they're not like that and such and such. Uh, and before you know it, it cuts off the conversation. And then the conversation goes to talk about some other people. Because that's the way you've finished off on a high, it becomes a negative. Because there's a clash and of perceptions of someone that you started off with in a good fight but you carried it where it wasn't yours to carry and now it's becoming a bad fight. So from that bad fight it switches off and you start a new conversation about something else. Before you know it, the conversation's negative. It's a rundown of someone. And this is what you've got to be aware of. Focusing on you, not all around you or other people or anything around you. Because once you're focused on you and you're following your heart and doing the things that you enjoy doing, well you're going out and doing all this 
you haven't got that time for nonsense, for monkey chatter that has no meaning, that is pointless. The only meaning it has is stressing you out because it's all that you're thinking about and worrying about what way that would work out. You're never going to know you're not doing it. You're never going to sense the feeling that person's going through unless it was something that you really wanted to do. So unless it is that, you've got no reason whatsoever to carry it about with you. So you move on and carry about what's in your heart and you follow that and you carry that through your day. You carry that through every day. No matter what comes up or how distracted you get, you keep that in your awareness of your life and how you want it to be and you follow that path to there and everything that comes up on that way you'll know if it's good for your path or not to take it on board or you just drop it off you leave it there like the milkman taking empty bottles back if they're empty then you take them if they're full they're not for you you're for getting rid of the full ones something like that Hopefully this helps you um, see that by helping others, you need to help yourself. Um, all that will happen otherwise is it will become, you will get yourself drawn into your surroundings, your circumstances, which I like to call a negative field, because everyone seems to do what everyone else does and so on, so on, fit into place. Um, structured where nobody's truly feeling it people are happy here and there ups and downs but never truly sensing that true happiness within themselves that you could sense all the time and it's a simple choice but because our awareness is stuck on the outside through sight, you seem to follow it. Now, this is an example of how powerful it is. I want you just to close your eyes right now. And when you have your eyes closed, I just want you to listen to all the sounds that you can hear. Every single sound that you can hear, with your eyes closed, sense what you're picking up that your eyes doesn't pick up. Now, if you notice, if you had your eyes open, would you have heard all them noises? Would you have been aware of them? Most likely not. You may have heard some of them, but being aware of them, no, you'd have probably just followed your focus and what you saw. So we get distracted by our focus, because we believe all that we see is, is how it is when it's not. It's actually everything's moving when you look at objects. It's just filled with energy, moving around, bouncing particles. But we can't see that with the naked eye. We only see what's in the physical aspect of things. So, this kind of shows you how we get taken away when we're watching something and the rest of the senses settle down and we're not aware of them. So if you've got to be you've got to be aware of your senses and when you're being aware of your senses you'll be aware of you. And in this it'll teach you to look after yourself more so than anything else, because that's what's important. When you look after yourself and you keep yourself that happy, vibrant person, then everyone else is gonna feel that from you as well. And then you'll be living it. You'll be living within it. It'll be in you, around you, it'll be everywhere that you are. Because that's what you believe in. It's what you've created within you. You're following your heart. Okay, this is Mind Body Reprogramming and as always say thank you for watching and please hit subscribe and hit the bell if you like my videos. And thank you again.